Hello. It is bank holiday Monday and I just got back from a weekend in Newcastle visiting my grandma for her 80th birthday which is next week and um, we saw my cousins and we went bowling, played pool, um, crazy golf so that was really fun and I had a really good couple of days there so we just got back now and it is, what time is it? Um, 20 past 3 on Monday and I've just unpacked all my stuff. I'm one of those people who have to unpack straight away when I come back from somewhere just because I need to get out of my system. <laughs> um, so I didn't have that much to unpack really so now I'm just going to kind of have a little pamper afternoon because even though I've only been away a couple of days I feel a bit like I need to do my nails, have a proper shower, like wash my hair and stuff. Um, you know when you're out of your routine and you just need to like get back in it and um, that's what I feel like doing now. Starbucks they have like a new cold, not cold brew, it's the iced cappuccino like foam thing and you can get unsweetened so I got this with almond milk. It wasn't, it was quite nice, um, it was okay, it wasn't like as sweet as normal iced coffee which I liked. Um, it had a nice little foam at the top, so that was good and then I got this um, wrap from Waitrose which was the vegan Mexican spice butternut squash and beans wrap in a pumpkin wrap. Um, which is also very nice. So I had that in the car on the way back. Um, one of my favourite snacks at the moment, just thought I'd mention it, is um, dates with these cacao buttons. So you have like, well I just like get one of these pitted dates and then one of these cacao liqueur buttons and like smush them together in like a sandwich and it just tastes really good. <laughs> kind of random but nice sweet snack after a meal. Look at the state of these. So we went bowling and I broke now, which is like first world problems I know, um, on the bowling ball and then it hurt quite a bit and I managed to pull it off, which is horrible I know, but I need to redo my nails. So I'm going to do that this afternoon and also do a face mask, do some like laser hair removal because I'm trying to keep on top of that and like make sure um, that I keep it up properly. And also I want to tell you about the fake tans that I'm using and loving which I got last week, and they're from saint -Tropez. Um This is my kind of beauty stash that I've kept quite minimal at the moment. Um, so the two tans that I'm using are the Bronzing Water, which is a new purity one from saint -Tropez. Um It's really, really good, and I just found it gives a really nice natural looking tan. When you put it on, it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel oily, and it doesn't smell, which is the most important thing. Um, I'll try and show you my colour now. Now for me, this is very tanned. <laughs> I've been using this on my body and then there's a face version which I've been spraying on my face because I didn't put any makeup on today that I look more tan than I would normally. Um, you might disagree but I think I do. So I think it's been quite good. It hasn't broken me out yet, fingers crossed. It's meant to be quite like okay for skin. That's that one. And then I also got another one of the Express Tan which is the one you put on for like one or, one or two hours and it gives you a nice dark tan. I haven't used yet but I've used in the past and really like it. I mentioned it in a previous vlog I think. I might do a face mask, not a face mask, a hair mask because um, I used the Philip Kingsley elasticizer a couple of days ago and I found my hair so soft afterwards. I'm going to try and do it again. Yeah I'm feeling like a bit of a, not detox this week but I want to experiment with some more like vegetarian plant based meals so I try and show you those as I pick and choose what I'm having. I was debating whether to go to the gym this afternoon but I feel like I'm not sure I'm going to have the energy especially from like showering and stuff but we'll see how it goes so first of all I'm going to do my, remove my nail polish so let's decide what nail colour to put on. Right so as you can see I haven't got very many to choose from. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> Feeling like so this one that I had on now was this nail zinc, the new white in, I can't remember what shade it was, it's like a really really pale green mint shade. So I'm thinking I want to go for something a bit brighter this time because I'm not one to shy away from a bright nail colour. I quite like this one, this is fishnet stockings but I don't know if it's too ready. Um, me while I'm so indecisive when it comes to these things. Kind of fancy orange. This is a Roxanne Campbell nail polish. Um, or maybe orange punch. But that's too orangey for me. 
right now. I'm gonna put this on again anyway for sure and it's the OPI Nail Envy because especially this horrible looking mess, <laughs> I need to strengthen my nails again. So I'm gonna put that on. Um, I kind of fancy like a red, something a bit vampy. We'll go with this one and see what that looks like. I feel like sometimes if I use a top coat it makes the polish too thick and then it's more prone to chipping so I think I'm just going to stick with this and then two coats of that and see how it goes. I'm also going to use a Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover because my cuticles are not looking the best at the moment. Nail file by Lake and Denny and that should be all I need at the moment. I've done my nails and they are ready to be painted and my toes took my toe polish off so everything is feeling a lot fresher. My nails are looking a lot healthier actually um, than they have been in a long time so that's good. And then I just use my trusty Boots face mask, put on this deep um, deep action charcoal nose pore strips on my nose because I'm feeling a lot of like blackheads at the moment. I just like splash my face with the face scrub and then put this on and then I'm going to follow with the L'Oreal Puri Purity um, face mask after and then I just shave in the shower so I'm going to use my Braun um, laser hair removal and I've put on the Philip King's the elasticizer which is why I'm looking a bit um, greasy and bored at the moment so yeah I'm going to do that and then I feel a bit hungry so I might get a snack but I'm always really thirsty after I've been travelling. It's about only four hours in the car, so not too long, but I get really thirsty. Mm. If I drink so much water normally, when I can't drink it because I don't want to go to the toilet a lot, TMI I know, um, I like really feel the effects of it. also want to make an Amazon order of some books um, that I really want to read, so I'm going to do that in a bit and I'll show you what I order. I need to pay my ASOS Klarna, did my ASOS haul, which you will have seen, and didn't keep that much actually in the end because I really assessed the things that I really loved and I didn't love that much. I liked a lot of it but I didn't love it so I thought I would turn a lot. Um, but I did, one thing I did keep was the peach dress which was this one which I love and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. But I did go get some shoes from H&M when I was there um, last week. Um, these flats which I really like, they're just like Flat mules, I think they're about £12, so pretty um, affordable. And then I got these wedges, which I saw um, when I was with my mum and my sister, and didn't get them at the time, but then I um, kind of regretted it, so I went back and got them. And a top from Zara, which is not on the hanger very well, but you can see the colour there, you get the gist of it. Can't take myself seriously with this low strip on. See, so yeah, I got a few things, but I didn't want to get anything. I'm kind of trying to have a one in, one out approach to my wardrobe at the moment, so it's doing quite well. And it's so satisfying to pull off these nose strips and like see anything that comes out. Because um, that is how wild my life is. And yeah, I'll put the face mask on after. And that is it for now. I made myself a little fruit bowl here. I got a slice of watermelon, which my grandma gave us few frozen raspberries and one kiwi chopped up. So I've made my Amazon order and the first book I picked up um, is this one by Elizabeth Gilbert. It's called Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear. And I've heard some really good things about this book um, from a few podcasts I listen to. So I'm really excited to read that one when it comes. And I ordered some hemp seeds and nutritional yeast because they're both quite high in protein. I'm going to try and experiment with some more vegetarian style lunches. Um, so yeah, then I've saved some books for later because I also want to read um, The Big Leap, Conquer Your Hidden Fear and Take Life to the Next Level by Gay Hendricks, um, The Success Principles, which is by Jack Canfield, and Earth is Hiring, um, and that's called The New Way to Live, Lead and Earn and Give for Millennials and Anyone Who Gives a Shit <laughs> by Peter Kelly, I think the name is. So yeah, I'll save those for later. Made my order and my face mask is nearly dry now um, so I think I'm gonna do my laser hair and then wash this off and also wash my hair mask out because I'm trying to leave it in for as long as possible to get the full benefits. Just done my laser hair removal using the Braun Silk Expert number three and it only takes me about 15 minutes to use all over my body so um, definitely recommend this and it's really slowed down my hair growth so that's good. I only have to shave about like once or twice a week with this and hopefully eventually I will be hair free from it. And I'm also watching Lydia Millen's vlog. 
taking a bit of a break from Instagram at the moment. I'm not really like looking on it. I'm only like posting photos when I have one. Um, I don't actually have many at the moment to post, so I'm just enjoying the kind of break from it. Let's wash my hair. I'm gonna show you the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using at the moment. It is a TG one for blonde hair. It's the Dumb Blonde, this is a reconstructor conditioner. And then this one is the Dumb Blonde shampoo. They smell really good and you get quite a lot for about, I think it's 12 pounds for both from allbeauty.com. Um, so I recommend that. And I also use the Fudge Pebble shampoo and this is what I used earlier, the elasticizer. And now I'm going to use my wet brush to brush my hair. And I find it the best thing to use that doesn't leave tangles. And I always use one of these turbinators as well to make it a bit drier. I um, find it easier than a towel because you can tie it up in a button. And yeah, I'm just going to use this as a shine wet brush, I think. I got it from Amazon. It's meant to make your hair a bit shinier. I'm just going to brush my hair now and then go make some dinner, I think, because I'm a bit hungry. I'll show you what I make. So I made a very quick stir fry with some veg I have left over, um, vegetable fish fingers, some hummus, and I made like a tahini um, lemon juice and apple cider vinegar dressing. So my family are having a Chinese, didn't really feel like it, so this is what I'm going to eat. Use the slightly wayward fringe. I just painted my nails and I changed my mind on what um, colour I wanted to use. I went back to my favourite nail polish at the moment, which is the Nails Ink Gel Effect in Mayfair Lane. It's just like the perfect nude colour. You can see it on my nails here. I just think it's like the perfect peachy nude, especially because I'm not that tanned. I think it looks really nice and natural. I've got two coats of this on and it gives a really nice thick effect. And then I've put on um, the Latent Denny Miracle Drops, which helps your nail polish dries so much quicker, so I recommend that um, for when you're painting your nails. I'm trying to let my hair dry as naturally as I can, I feel like it's taking a long time, but it feels so much softer from using that elasticizer, I love that stuff, and I just feel like it stops your hair from breaking as much, so then it can grow a bit longer than it would normally. Um, I'm trying to grow my hair, I kind of actually want it like down to here again, and I'm enjoying having the fringe still, so maybe I'll go for like a long hair fringe look. Um, I'm still undecided about what I want to do with my colour next month, but I'm getting it done at the end of June. So I'm not sure whether to go a bit, mix a bit of dark back in with it, um, in with the blonde. We'll see. I'm quite happy with my little pamper session. My hair is pretty much dry now. Um, I can't believe how much softer it is when I use the elasticizer. It just makes such an amazing difference. My hair is naturally quite straight. Um, it will have a slight wave to it. I really need to get my fringe done professionally because since I cut it myself, um, I haven't had it done and it's growing quite quick. I don't want it like any shorter, but I just want it to be a bit more um, neat. My mirror looks a bit messy, sorry. <laughs> and I thought I should show you the couple products that I'm using at the moment. The first one is the Lazelle Botanical Shine Nourishing Hair Oil. I find this really good. I use this before I blow dry my hair. And then I also use the Bedhead TG um, Head Rush Shine Spray which I tend to spray on after I've dried my hair even though um, obviously it is the evening so I'm not going to be going out or anything I don't need to be like nicely styled I just like to do <coughs> just swallow that I'm not going to put any heat on it tonight I think I might do that tomorrow I like to put a few curls around my face just to add a bit of um, extra shape to it and I'm just in my pyjamas already, obviously. And so now I'm going to do my skincare routine for bed because I just put on my toner before and haven't done my actual skincare. So I should probably do that because my skin always feels a bit dry if I haven't done that. Um, if I don't do that soon. So I'm going to go do that now. Head balm recently, which is like a lifesaver when it comes to my fringe and putting on skincare and washing my face. Just keeps everything out of the way and it looks kind of cute too. I've walked to the gym a couple times. This is the face um, tan by Sancho I was telling you about. It's the Purity Bronzing Water Face Mist. So I'm going to spray a bit of this on just to give my skin a bit of extra glow because I've been using it most days and it doesn't seem to build up in a bad way so I'm going to keep using it. Some dog barking outside. So I just spray a tiny bit. And it's so fine you can hardly feel it on your face so just be careful. So then I tend to just wipe a tiny bit away off my nose 
because my nose is always a bit darker anyway. I don't like to highlight that. And then on my eyebrows, just a bit around my hairline. I already put a moisturiser on, so I don't need to moisturise after. And then let it sink in and do its work. So really, really enjoy using that at the moment. I just find it to be really good. Hasn't broken me out so far. So that is my skincare routine done. Um, got my hairband in. I might keep that in this evening, even though it does kind of make my fringe go a bit weird, but I kind of like the look of it. And it's nice to have your hair off your face in the evening, I think, personally. I'm going to go do some reading and might make a cup of tea later. Edit this vlog, potentially. I'm going to show you my little beauty hack that I'm doing at the moment. Um, I've just been taking some coconut oil and put it in like this little travel pot and then using it on my cuticles and stuff to make them a bit less dry. So far it's been really good. Um, my nails have definitely grown considerably well since I started using this. Um, it's just normal coconut oil, so nothing special, but I thought I'd mention that and it also makes a nice lip balm and hair defrizzer, that kind of thing. So coconut oil is a good all natural beauty product. And I'm trying to like eventually replace all my um, beauty products that I have with more natural alternatives when I use them up. I'm quite conscious of what I put in my body in terms of like food and drink. I think I should probably extend that to my beauty products too. Obviously it's quite hard to do everything natural, but I'm going to try where I can to introduce more natural beauty products into my collection, so if you have any recommendations let me know. Um, that would be really good. And yeah, I think I'm going to say goodbye now for this vlog and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye guys!